With a cell-sharpened shiv, Tony Mockbell was viciously stabbed up to seven times by Tira Bennett and Eldea Twera, members of the powerful Pacific Islander prison gang, GFAM. When you're 40, you see what GFAM and the bros do for you. You've never had a job, never had a stable relationship, no relationships with the children that you have. You will end up drug-rattled, lonely old men. In February last year, a story about Mockbell, who's currently serving a 30-year sentence for drug trafficking, appeared in the Herald Sun, calling him an enforcer and saying he'd busted a Pacific Island extortion racket. The next day, in the moments after Bennett's own birthday party in the prison yard, he and Twera made their move, armed with crude prison-made knives, pouncing on Mockbell and another prisoner who tried to intervene. The only reason you are getting any attention is because it was Tony Mockbell. But at the end of the day, you two young blokes, two on one, mauled and maimed a 53-year-old man. The ferocious stabbing left Mockbell clinging to life and he was rushed to hospital for emergency brain surgery. And you may think you're heroes within the jail, but do you think in 20 years' time that's going to matter? Even though they dragged him to the brink of death, Tony Mockbell declined to give a statement to police, as did the men who stabbed him. Bennett and Twera were today sentenced to 10 years behind bars where they're already serving time for serious violent crimes. And when he finishes his sentence, Bennett will probably be deported to New Zealand. Danny Tran, ABC News, Melbourne.